Final Four coming up. Hey, everybody. It's funny. It's, uh, the Truth Will Rise yeah, back here with a new uh, video here. Let me turn the radio down in the car. But uh, what I want to get into today is a subject that I've touched on before, but I feel that, <laughs> that I need to revisit it. Um, and, and maybe kind of add a few things is that uh, as everyone knows whether you want to or not the spectacle the pro wrestling used car salesman-esque feel that is election season is upon us so you know, you've got all of the characters. You've got Hulk Hogan and the Macho Man and Ric Flair and Sting, and they're all traveling around the country with their fans, cutting promos and telling you how great they are and how they're going to be this, you know, great at this and how the other guy sucks. And, uh, you know, they... they, they travel around, their fans cheer them on, it's a lot like pro wrestling, and uh, at the end of the day, they're not going to do anything that they say they're going to do, they're saying what you want to hear, just much in the same way some of these pulpit pimps tell the people in the churches what they want to hear, to get their money, they're telling you what you want to hear to get your vote, even though technically your vote doesn't count, but that's a whole other discussion. Um, because what we have to understand as people is that though they, politicians and, you know, the, those political actors, we'll call them, that's what we'll call them, the political actors, though they are few, and we are many, and, and the fact that they have three letters and a period in front of their name doesn't make them powerful. Okay, the only reason they have their power is because we have been tricked into advocating it to them, giving it to them. And the thing about it that that I think has been kind of twisted is that they're powerful and, and we're kind of the little underlings and that's not the case if it were not for us rightly wrongly tricked whatever giving our consent to them they would have no power at all okay and we have to understand that that the people have the power you know that sounds cliche but it's actually so true case in point uh, taxes. If no one paid their taxes this year, I can guarantee you that 306 million people would not go to jail. No, if the country collapsed. That's another story. Okay? But we have been, on that note, we've been tricked into thinking that the IRS is, is big and powerful. And that we, you know, we need to do these things. And it's the same way with the political system. All this pomp circumstance and big money ads and all this type of jazz to make them appear that they're powerful. It's the political version if you watch a music video, how they always show the rappers, how you're looking up at them because they're all like four foot eight, but they look like six nine on, on the video to make themselves look. It's the same thing. And never mind the fact that they're just fronting for a large money syndicate, criminal syndicate behind them anyway, okay, and it's all the same group of guys, front, or the, the same people fronting all these political figures anyway, okay, because every two, four, six, eight years, vote in one group because they're talking about how the other group is complete morons and they suck and they don't do anything right, yada, 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 vote us in, we'll fix all their crap, and then they get in. And not only do they not do it, but they actually make things even worse. So then the other group comes back and says, hey, see, you voted us out. Look what these other group is doing. 
we get back in, you vote us in, we're going to do X, Y, Z and turn things around. And they get in. And it's a perpetual cycle because at the end of the day, the political actors are, are they're there for other people's entertainment, but we think it's serious. So it's hard to, I know, to kind of wrap your mind around the concept of kind of ignoring them, but, or not even ignore them. What has to happen is a couple things. Because for us to expect, particularly black people, to expect honesty from an inherently corrupt system is complete loose. It's not going to happen. Because there are honest people who would like to run, but because they don't play ball with the right people, they won't get any, they won't get the money, they won't even be allowed to get on the ballot in some cases. So it's rigged from the start. So, you know, when you understand that it's not meant for us to win, okay? They're not there for us. What we, as the people, can do is merely turn away from this and realize, one, we have the power, and two, that we can change the system. The states it right there. Um, was it in the uh, Declaration of Independence? Is the Constitution? I forget which one right now. But I believe it's the Constitution. But we can get rid of the current system and form a new, or just get rid of the bums and bring in our own people. The problem is is where you continue to believe in these people that they're going to do right by you. And they're not. Okay? The thing that, that we need to focus on is that if we want to, first of all, let me back up, because if we want to make any changes, the thing that we have to, I think, focus on is, is building up from ourselves and our families and then our communities and then the outlying areas, and then it'll go from there. Okay. I think this is one of those we can't think that it's going to come from the top down it's got to come from the bottom from the, the smallest basic unit which is the individual and then the family and then the village and then the community and the city the county. it has to go from there Okay, and then it will work its way up and it would happen a whole heck of a lot faster than waiting for some person, you know, blue suit with a nice speech to come in and, and think that they're going to save us because it's not going to happen. It's up to us. Because I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter who's going to win this election. It doesn't matter. Never mind the fact that it's already been decided. Where are the people are going to ultimately lose. Granted, the people who buy into it. Either you're going to be disappointed in November or you're going to be disappointed somewhere down the road with these people. But it's going to happen. Because that's the way it's, it's meant to happen. Uh, so, you know, all of all of the money, the, there is no difference between a big budget block, but summer blockbuster movie and election season. It's the exact same thing, you know. Instead of WrestleMania, you've got political mania. I mean, that's, that, that's all it is. It's just... It's, it's, it's pro wrestling for educated people. People think they're educated. And uh, it's just basically an, an exercise in extreme futility to believe in these people. To think that they have our best interests. And there's this case in point over and over again. So if you really want to, to change things, we have to start, and I'm and I'm talking to myself on this. I can assure you, is that improving ourselves, and then improving our families, and and then that will spread out from there. Because at the end of the day, it's ultimately up to us to elevate our experience here on the planet, and then that of our our families. You know, it doesn't come from 
political actors because they're going to do what's in their best interest and then whoever's paying for their meal, uh, so to speak. So if you want, if you want to continue to believe, go right ahead. I can assure you you're going to be disappointed. But if you want to exercise some real change and take back the power that was that you either gave away or was taken away and given to these people, it starts with you. And uh, I'm going to end on that note because this video ran a little longer than I intended, but the truth will rise. It's everyone to remember it's our people, our community, our responsibility. Wishing everyone peace, positivity, and power.